Hello, I'm Yanis Varoufakis. You may know me as uh, the former finance minister of Greece. But I'm not here to talk to you about Greece. I'm here to talk about our common home, Europe. Europe, unfortunately, tragically, is disintegrating in every realm, in terms of our Eurozone, in terms of our common or lack of common attitude to refugees that are landing on our shores. We have fences and electrified walls uh, springing up everywhere. We have the British thinking of leaving. We have divisions between the north and the south, the east and the west. None of this is an accident. It all has to do with the faulty construction of the European Union institutions. They are characterized by a vacuum of democracy. Have you asked yourselves, why is it that Europe is the only economic bloc in the world that has not managed to recover from the 2008 crisis? Let me tell you why that is. Because those who make decisions are not subject to your scrutiny. You cannot fire Mr. Thomas Wieser, the head of the Euro Working Group, that is determining the policies that affect you, or Austria, or Germany for that matter, Greece, and so on and so forth. The disintegration of the European Union will no doubt continue until we find ourselves in a postmodern version of the 1930s. The only thing that can stop that is the democratization of the European Union, a surge of democracy. We need to do that which the generation of the 1930s here in Spain and in the rest of Europe failed to do, to create uh, a broad coalition of Democrats, whether they are left-wing, right-wing, Marxist, radicals, liberals, it doesn't matter a broad coalition of European Democrats that will stop this disintegration, this slide into a version of the 1930s that our children are going to take us to task for having allowed to take place. In Berlin on the 9th of February, we started the Democracy in Europe movement, Diem, we call it. I'm calling upon you to join this broad infrastructure of democratic action and thinking in order to do exactly what we, that which, which we must do, to democratize Europe. Thank you.